If there is a way for you to save yourself headaches, time, and frustration from making costly marketing mistakes, would you take advantage of it? Of course you would. Today, you'll discover how to avoid costly, time-wasting marketing mistakes straight from the mouths of some of the most successful entrepreneurs around. We're getting into it right now. Hi, I'm Carol J. Dunlop, the online WOW strategist and Amazon number one international best-selling author. Welcome to another video on how to unmarket your business using low-cost and no-cost marketing strategies. Don't miss anything. Subscribe now if you haven't already. And remember, click that bell so that you get all the updates, not just some of them. This is Blogs on Video. I blog weekly and then I recreate it onto video because some people are more visual, like me. <laughs> but you can always read it. The link will be below in the description. Today, I'm sharing the sage, tried and true, tested advice from my fellow marketers, friends, colleagues, mentors, and clients. I asked 35 of my biz besties, what is your biggest marketing mistake? And then I asked them to also share how they stopped it from happening again, and boy, did they ever come through. Since I have 35 responses, if I made a video for that, we'd be here quite a while. So what I decided to do is to give you a synopsis and biggest takeaways. You can read them individually on the blog yourself. There are three main areas of focus that the participants talked about in one way or the other. Number one, getting clear on your target audience, your message, and what you bring to the table. Number two, having a plan as to how you will market, when you do it, and how and why to keep going. And number three, jumping in and getting stuff done because your people are waiting. Here's what they said. The overwhelming majority of the participants talked about clarity and getting clear, meaning clarity with who your audience is because you can't and don't have the resources to market to the planet. You must know your audience intimately. That includes what they want, what they're willing to pay for, what you're willing to provide to them, and how you will deliver it. Once you're clear on these elements, the marketing part is easy. The second thing is having a plan. Several participants cited that not having a plan or strategy, not making time to plan, and not working the plan is a huge mistake. They followed up by saying that once they plan things out, the marketing journey was easier and clearer for everyone, both for them and for their team. And then finally, jumping in. The final overarching concept was to jump in and do it. Don't wait or procrastinate, just do it, as Nike says. The longer you wait to jump in and start marketing and letting people know you're here and ready, the longer it will take for you to achieve success. What stops most entrepreneurs? Perfection or the pursuit of perfection. But there is no perfect, and you don't have time to wait for your message to be perfect. While you're waiting and perfecting, your competition is doing and succeeding. There, those are the three concepts that stood out that most of the participants touched on in some way or another. However, there were several more. And once you actually read the blog, you can see what I mean. I really want to thank all the participants for a job well done. Head on over to the blog and read it for yourself. But if you're short on time, I've prepared a PDF download for you, and I've got the link below. So if you're short on time, you can download that and read it on your own time. So that's it for Blogs on Video for today. But be sure to tune in again on Monday, 9 a.m. Eastern for Monday Marketing Nuggets. And then join me back here again on Thursday for another video on Blogs on Video. Bye for now.